Can you tell that I just cried yeah. last night? I had to ice my eyes with some corn. Hi my gorgeous french fries, how are you guys all doing today? This is Karina. So I've gotten a lot, a lot of DMs and a lot of comments from you guys requesting to see more spring dresses content and how to style dresses in particular. So today I've put together some of my favorite dresses and cohorts for the spring and summertime and also going to tell you guys how I like to style them. Thank you to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this video, they have some awesome super trendy, super cute, and super affordable spring pieces on their site right now and I also have a discount code for you guys in the description box below so don't forget to check it out. Let's get started! So first of all, I have this super gorgeous pink pastel dress! You guys all know that pastel is one of the hottest trends in the springtime. Pink just happens to be my favorite color as well and it's just a match made in heaven. I think this dress is your perfect going out dress, brunch dress, picnic dress, spring date dress, wedding guest dress, going to the groceries dress, walk into the mailbox dress. <sighs> I can't believe I said that all in one breath. As of today, I'm currently 20 weeks pregnant. So yeah, right now, this is what it looks like on me. I'm wearing the size US 6. By the way, you can find all the sizes and the prices in the description box down below as well. I will be linking everything I'm wearing in this haul. And what I really like about it is that there is a ribbon tie detail here at the shoulder area. So you can tie higher if you want like a more conservative look or you can tie like I don't know, like below your boob if you want to. If that style is kind of like your vibe. Not to sound crazy queen obvious, but you can pretty much wear these dresses on their own just like this. But in case you want more styling tips, I like to pair these sort of more feminine dresses with a pearl necklace and something like this. I just think it furthermore brings out the femininity in the dress, especially if you're wearing something quite low cut like this. You don't want your neck area to feel kind of bare, so this is a good way to go. I also like to point out these mule that I'm wearing. They're also from Nasty Girl and I picked them up because I wanted something that is easier to slip into especially for spring and summer. Um, I'm at the point where I'm no longer bending down to like tie anything. But yeah, I'm currently hating anything with shoelaces. This is a really great option for those of you who just want to slip into something and go without thinking too much in the morning. And also the height is really really easy to walk in so you don't have to worry about that. And also, can I just show you, I don't know if you guys can see the material but it's kind of like, it reminds me of my bathrobe. Like a soft towel-y material. So it is extremely easy and comfy to walk in. Just gonna say I got this in the size US 7 and I don't know why I did that. I'm usually a US 7.5 so naturally it was like a tee, bit too small for me but you know what, go with your usual size. Don't be like me, pregnancy brain. Another way you can style up your springtime dresses is by pairing it with a denim jacket. So this is both a great styling tip in case you want to add some more layers and texture to your outfit and it also keeps you warm you know during like the windy or chilly spring days. This is just something that I've had in my closet for like a super long time. I find that with denim jackets like something classy like this just one is enough to last you for like a couple years at least. So this is one that I reach for spring and summer like year after year without fail. This next dress I feel is a little bit on the extra side, but you can also style it down if you want to. So I picked this dress because I thought, again, it was very fitting for cottage core, even though you don't really see much black. So I thought this would be perfect for like dark cottage core if they ever became a thing. These sleeves are extremely puffy and very, very signature of the cottage core look. So you can wear them off the shoulder like this or on the shoulder and it's totally up to you. Even if you do put it off the shoulder, it's not gonna fall down because this entire piece at the chest area down to your tummy area is made of this like super duper elastic material. It's very form fitting, but at the same time, it's like comfortably form fitting. You know what I mean? And then it flows down into this flared puffy skirt, which let me just tell you, is not going anywhere. I don't care how hard the wind blows. Look at me trying to like spin around here and like it's not even like flying up. So I think the maximum it's gonna go is like side to side. Unless you walk directly over those like things on the floor that spews air upwards. Please let me know what they're called because I just I just can't think right now. Pregnancy brain. Oh my god, what are those called? Oh air vents. Yeah, so like don't walk directly over an air vent. But that goes for like all dresses, right? And like you can just wear like biker shorts or yoga shorts under to combat that. I wouldn't say this is like your everyday go-to dress, but in case you do want to style it down, I suggest pairing it with a cardigan of some sort. So this is just an oversized cardigan that I really love because the color combo is just black pink. 
okay can't go wrong with that again it provides some layer and texture and color to the outfit so it's not like completely formal looking i also i'm pairing with my gold chain pillow bag because that is also a really trendy thing this spring so on to coordinates so this is a coordinate that i got because i thought it was it was really badass looking and really cool girl looking at the same time super in love with coordinates at the moment but the problem with these cohorts is that they can get really formal looking and really extra looking really fast i like to tone it down by having something like a jacket like this i just find that it instantly tones down your entire look and make it a lot more wearable and a lot more casual looking especially if you're pairing it with runners like i'm doing here so this one is super duper comfy you guys and it's actually Actually, a really really good dupe for the one that I featured in my spring outfits lookbook so if you haven't checked it out go check it out this one does come pretty oversized to begin with but I wanted to up one size more because I like it like extra oversized so I got this in the US 6 and this is how it looks like on me you can definitely pair it with so many things like jeans and a crop top or a cohort set like I'm doing here I also think it'll look really great with like a denim shorts or like a denim skirt combo also just keeping the rest of the outfit pretty simple with my new balance runner and this simple white bag poll for you guys tie-dye in or out for spring 2021 it was such a huge huge trend last summer and I'm kind of loving this particular one I just think the sky blue and the clouds just mix so well together and I don't know why as you can tell I have an obsession with pastel blue at the moment you know what, guys I don't really care if the trend is like over by now because I flipping love this dress like pattern I don't even consider it tie-dye at the point I just think of like the wide that's a blue summer sky and it just makes me happy so this is a t-shirt dress it's made of this like ribbed material and it's so stretchy to stand up so you guys can see pretty much all around and on here there is a rouge detail all around the side here and you can like draw it however long or however short you want so i try to leave it all the way down it comes to like my knees area so it's definitely fit for like a modest look if you're going for that um but you can also you know hike it up to as high as you want so i'm loving the versatility there i think this dress is pretty casual and wearable on its own already it's not see-through and it's super comfy to be in but in case you want to add a little something more to it i suggest going for something like a white basic sweatshirt or like a sweater it doesn't have to be like in a particular type of sweater and i've just seen like you know people are just throwing it over their shoulders like that i think it gives that really like athletic look or something like you belong to the country club and you just like ah I happen to play tennis there like every once in a while but yeah it looks super athleisure-y to me i'm just going with this white purse because i think the color matches really well and also my white hair forces next dress we have up is a graphic t-shirt dress cannot forget about this type of dresses because they are legit like the coolest and the comfiest type of dresses they're super badass they're super comfortable baby bump and food bump friendly and basically my go-to whenever i'm going out for like a buffet dinner this one has kiss on it so it is a type of band tee the way i just style this is with a pair of biker shorts these biker shorts are also from nasty gal i've had them for a while now i think for over a year or two and they haven't like pilled or like broken on me yet so they're extremely <laughs> good quality while still being super affordable one thing i do want to point out for this particular graphic tee that i got from nasty gal is that I got it in the size US 6 and it was a little bit too long for me so I did not like where it was sitting around my thighs area so you know what I just took a pair of scissors and I just cut it so right now the bottom looks kind of like messy because I just like raw hemmed it I didn't even like stitch it back up or whatever but maybe it's just me but I really do find like these raw hems really do give the badass look a lot more bad as sorry <laughs> like it totally just go together so just be mindful of the length when you're getting this particular piece if it really really bothers you you can also take it to like your local tailor and have it hemmed professionally and then just throwing on my super 
oversized black blazer on top of it are you guys sick of me seeing oversized stuff yet i feel like the whole look is such a change from all like the spring dresses that immediately comes to your mind when you think spring dresses let me know in the comments down below which aesthetic do you prefer do you prefer like the more girly like the pink frilly dresses or the more like badass like motor chick association type of looks of course, you cannot forget about your maxi dresses, especially for spring and summertime. And this one's kind of like a beige, kind of muted peach color maxi dress with slight sheer puffy sleeves. So again, kind of on the side of cottage core. I got this in a size US 4 and it was a little bit too constrictive for me at this point in my pregnancy. So um, if you have the same measurements as me, Make sure you go one size up, which is a US 6. It's very interesting because it has like two layers. So one layer is like completely sheer on the outside, but then you have this inner layer that is separate from the outer layer. And this layer is like an opaque layer. I think this also classifies as like a modest look. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. I find it super cute and you can just like go on like a picnic with it or like a shopping and it's super comfortable and lightweight to be in. So in case you're like sweating all over the place like I am in the summer, at least there's some, you know, airflow to help mitigate that sweatiness going on. So that is it for how to style spring dresses and coordinates. If you wanna see more tips or styling videos in general, make sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment on what you would like to see next. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love y'all, bye.